Back again with Project Gigawatt. In this episode, we will get the finished powder coated motor mounts installed along with the low mileage Model 3 performance motor. Then we'll mock up some half shafts and we'll start planning out the Model S battery pack. Episode 2 starts now. Well, here it is, the motor arrived. This is a very clean, low mileage Model 3 performance motor. It's a serial 980 motor. Uh, this was sourced from Stealth EV. They always do a great job finding high quality, clean parts. This one came with all of the hoses, fittings, pigtails, connectors, high voltage cables, everything I need to adapt the motor to the DeLorean, along with these now powder coated motor mounts. This five piece set turned out really good. It's got a real nice, durable finish. And uh, prior to installing these back plates, I prepped the frame so anywhere it was cut or had surface rust, that's been primed, painted, and uh, prepped so it'll last a very long time now. These are bolted down with uh, heavy uh, half inch grade eight bolts. And uh, the motor just tucks up really nice in front of this cross member. You can see that rear motor mount. I have to drill the final holes. It's got th three bolts total, two on this side, one on the other side so that when they're installed there's no interference in that tight area on this left side here where the inverter side it's got a removable mounting point on the motor so that uh, needs to be removed to get everything into place and then once it all fits you can reinstall that ear on this motor side it's a permanent cast ear on, on the motor but uh, everything is torqued down now uh, very strong but yet isolated through the factory rubber mounts so next was uh, sizing the half shaft. So the Model 3 motor has the CVs on the inner side that are pushed in with like a, a locking ring. And inside of this cup, once you pull the boot apart, it's got a little tripod that has three ball bearing rollers. So that's the CV that allows it to not only apply the torque in rotation, but it can slip in and out with suspension travel. So it has a, a fair amount of travel, which is nice. Um, so that's the, the Tesla side. Here's the Tesla shaft that I'm using to mock it up. And that has to adapt to the DeLorean side. On the DeLorean hub, it actually used a Porsche 930 style CV. So what I did is I bought some cheap, uh, inexpensive CVs, uh, light duty, because I just wanted to use them as mock-up pieces so I could weld them into place, check the full travel, and uh, make sure I had the correct length of shaft. So here I am running the uh, suspension through its full travel. This would be full bottom out compression. Hopefully it'll never see this much compression, but I wanted to make sure I had full travel with all scenarios. So you can see with it pushed all the way up, the shaft still clears the frame by about a quarter inch. So plenty of travel. Uh, I should not have any problem with any normal driving travel of this car. So now that everything's been tested into place with this welded up mock-up, I'm ready to break it down and ship it out to Dutchman Axles and they will make brand new shafts. And it's just a shaft with splines on either end. One side will be for the Model 3 tripod. The other side will be just the Porsche 930 splines for that gear. So I sent them, these are the exact size shafts I need. So I sent them uh, so they have something to reference and they can also measure the splines. And then I went ahead and just bought the CVs through them. So they shipped everything back. Uh, it was a very reasonable price. It only took a couple weeks in and out. Um, the parts were here. So uh, really nice looking shafts. They're all um, heat treated. They're actually bigger diameter than what the Model 3 shafts were. So this will be plenty heavy duty. They look really good. The alignment looks good. This is at normal ride height. Uh, very happy the way these CV shafts came out uh, and it was overall very painless to get them built as well. On to the next challenge which is finding a location for all of the battery modules. This is a full 100 kilowatt hour Model S battery pack which might seem overkill for a Model 3 motor however these modules are much more manageable due to their size and shape you can repackage them much easier than you can a Model 3 battery pack. The obvious solution for locating batteries would be the big open spaces, which happens to be where the engine used to be. Not only do I have room above the gearbox here with that motor tucked all the way forward, 
Uh, I also have room behind this area, behind this box and behind the engine cross member for two more boxes. These boxes are four modules each, so roughly 100 volts per box. So this one, this is just a uh, mock-up box that we're using that fits squarely across the old cross member and then I'll have to build a new cross member to contain the other two boxes behind it. Now I still need room for four more modules, that's only 12 accounted for, so after removing the radiator and condenser from the front, this front frame is exposed and there's a significant gap between the frame and the trunk floor. So uh, I went ahead and trimmed out what I needed out of the frunk, the fiberglass, and you can see this front box does protrude in about two inches, but it leaves the majority of the space open. So it was not too invasive to put a box up front. The nice thing about up front is I don't have to build any cross members because it sits squarely on the frame. Just a couple tie down tabs is all that it will require. So that's, uh, that's it all. 16 modules will fit in this car and uh, this is looking up from where the original gas tank was forward you can see that box is way up front there leaving plenty of room for lots of other components like the charger and the BMS and some other components. The requirements for these battery boxes is to make them as small as possible yet contain everything that needs to make these modules work like the plumbing and the high voltage wiring so the next episode will be all about the battery box design and fabrication so thanks for watching and we'll see you back for episode three